what is up you guys it's your boy and the arts so today we are going to be joining a cute anime girl right and we're gonna start from the beginning right from the sketching from sketching the idea from the line art to the base color to the shadow into the highlights everything we're gonna take it right from the beginning from pretty much nothing all the way to the end product it's probably gonna be one of my longest videos so far so I really hope you guys enjoy it so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started and I'm gonna speed things up a little bit so here we go Okay, so right here we're starting to get an idea of what you know, what I want to do, right? So I got the head, I got the body, and I'm drawing her in like this cute little pose with her with her uh, arms going down together, and um, yeah. And so what I'm gonna do next, I'm going to reduce the opacity here, and then we're gonna move on to you know adding the details, the face, clothing, and so on and so on. So here we go. Let's speed it up a little bit. All right, so this is looking pretty cool. She's looking pretty cute. I kind of like this like ruffled uh, blouse, kind of like one piece dress idea. I like the ruffles here. Um, and uh, I think I think she's looking pretty cute. Um, yeah, I like the hair. And just to let you guys know, the hair, I got it, the idea for the hair, I got it from Hinata from Naruto, if you haven't been able to tell yet. So, all right, so we, we got the idea. We got the sketch. Now we're gonna go ahead and trace it to um, you know put down our line art and make it look make it look sharper make it look good so here we go let's speed it up
All right, so we are back. All right, so the liner is looking pretty clean. And well, at least I like to think it's looking clean. So I, you know, traced it over, made sure the lines are, are nice and neat. There's no swaggly lines, right? And uh, what we are going to do next, we're going to throw in some base color on the skin, clothing, hair, all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up and uh, I'll see you guys once the base color is on. all right so we got our base color and we got basically you know we have our flat colors right so once you get your flat colors what you want to do next is you want to go and start shadowing so we're going to start out with some heavy shadows and then once we put on the heavy shadows as i like to call them uh then we're going to go on to mid-tones and add uh, more detail so we're going to go ahead and start out with um I always like to start out with the skin and then the eyes, those two. I don't know why I go in that pattern, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's speed it up. All right, guys. So the eyes are looking pretty good. Um, just I just finished adding some some glare, or as people in the art community like to call it, glazing. Right when you're glazing uh, the the eyes, and when you're glazing uh, the you know the object that you're coloring, I think it's looking pretty cool. I just added some of these this design on the eyes because I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was kind of girly, and I thought it fit the character. So. Um, so next we are going to be working on the skin so let's go ahead and speed it up All right, so people, there's a lot of artists out there that have, you know, many different ways of like coloring, shading, right? There's many different techniques. But what I do is once I get into hard shadows, what I do is that once, I, you know, the edges, the edges of the shadow, I soften them up. I take the, the soft eraser and I start slightly, slowly erasing the, uh, the edges of the shadow. And that will help me create a, a gradient for like a mid-tone, right? That's what I do. And it looks, and especially on the skin, it always looks absolutely amazing. It always looks really, you know, just really, really cool, really smooth. It gives it this smooth 
gradient uh, like look, but like it blends in. And that's what we're doing here, we're blending. So let's go ahead and finish up the skin. All right, guys, so we uh, shaded in the skin. I added some, um, you know, I added the shadow, uh, mid-tones, some highlights, and um, I added some blush on her nose. <laughs> some blush, we colored the lips. I gave her some red lips. I love red lipstick. I was just, I don't know, maybe I think it's a guy thing. But uh, yeah, and also I added some, you know, some light on her lips to make it look, you know, just make it pop, make it look realistic. And up next, we are going to start working on the shadows for the clothing. Let's get it. All right, dudes, here we go. So we got the skin shadows and lighting. We got the clothing shadows and lightings. And I think it's looking pretty good thus far. And uh, so the next thing to do is to work on her hair. You know what they say, a woman's hair is her life. Right, so we gotta make her look pretty. We gotta make it pop. We gotta make sure it um, you know, gives her that amazing boost of confidence. So. Let's go ahead and start working on her hair. We're gonna add shadow, lighting, and all that good stuff. Here we go.
all right guys so this is looking pretty cool but we are almost we were almost done we finished the hair we added shadow to the hair we added um what else did we do uh, and we added the highlights to the hair you know that reflective light that make the hair look really nice and shiny uh, the next thing to do is to add what is called i guess the bounce light the bounce light and i always like to use this uh, type of yellow light right because i think especially well, if it's like light bulbs or the sunlight, the light tend to usually be either white or yellow. I'm going to go with a yellow here. So uh, here we go. Let's speed things up. All right, guys, so here's the final product. I really hope you liked it. Uh, I had a lot of fun coloring this chick right here. And uh, I'm going to be doing more of these videos. Just And next, I'm going to try to slow things down because these videos are really long. It could be an hour, two hours. It's a lot, it's a lot of editing you have to do for this video. So this is my first like coloring video here on, on YouTube. So hope you guys liked them. Be sure to um, hit the like button. Be sure to comment below. Tell me what you think. Give me some feedback. And also, if you want more of this type of content, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Andy Arts. Peace out.